Alright, so this is RC Kicks coming at you with our third video, and I'm bringing you a shoe collection video. Uh, all these shoes, before you watch, are open up for trade, and you can sell them, or buy. I buy, sell, trade, and uh, if you got a restoration project, hit me up, Instagram DMs, or uh, YouTube me. I mean, I'll, I'll hook you up, ship them out to me, I'll ship them back. I, I do it for the low, too. Um, but let's get this video started. So, first pair of kicks I want to bring you before I show you first two, actually. Um, I just want to say that the Jordan 4 is the shoe that got me into collecting. It, it's the shoe that really set me, set my mind on, oh my god, Jordan's, LeBron's shoe game. I need to get into it. So, first of all, I got the Bread 4 here. Uh, picked these up, pretty good price for my Connect. Um, you know, I got these Yeezy Aglets on it. Um, I had to do a little bit midsole repaint on it. It looks pretty nice, got that shiny matte finish on it. Um, got this. I had to clean up the suede a little bit. Uh, but overall, this is really nice, good looking, fashionable sneaker. Second of all, you've already seen these. I have my Black Mon 4. Now, I already showed you how I customize these. This is literally my second favorite shoe. That bread being my third favorite. Now, next, I want to bring you just my other pair of Jordans. And I just want to say that these... I, I, I like these. A lot of people don't like these. I mean, Jordan, BHM, Spazikes. It's got that elephant print, this neon this shade off shade of green chartreuse I mean these blue laces pulled this t together for me it's got black neon laces and I just I just threw this red lace lock on there a couple of days ago I don't know um, you know this bottom it's a translucent sole it's got if you can see right now it's got constellations and stars in the bottom the insole is awesome it's got mellow Spike Lee Jordan in there. I mean, this is an overall comfortable, stylish, dope sneaker. Next, I got the shoe that got me in the game. This is the first shoe I got. You know, it got heads turning. Seventh grade, people were looking at this shoe. Um, you know, I got this end of seventh grade year, you know, right when it came out, and this is it's a nice shoe i mean it, it got me in the game got me collecting and after this shoe i just set my mind on these jordan fours and as you can tell i accomplished what i wanted to do next of all i just look recently visited uh sneaker freaks um down in columbus and i picked these up uh, these are the DJ Clark Kent 112 Dunk Low SBs. Now, this is an amazing sneaker. Not only is it comfortable, has that awesome plush tongue, uh, extreme comfort, nice outsole, nice midsole. Elfin print is on point. The 3M on this shoe is crazy. I wish I could show you right now. I mean, this is gray. As you can see right now, and it turns sunlight bright with 3M. The 3M on any 112 is just on point. So next, I've got a, a pair of Everydays, and uh, it's the Stefan Janowski uh, Leopard Multi Print, uh, Multicolor Leopard Print. Uh, I mean, this not a pure kick, not heat. But it's it's a nice sneaker. It looks good. You know, I can wear it with outfits that match any of these colors. There's a ton of colors on here. And it's just... It's a nice, comfortable shoe. Now, not gonna lie about these. I picked these up from some kid in my school. You know, he told me he had some kicks. I asked him, what do you got? Told me he had these. I was looking for a pair of LeBron 8s, like the Holmes, um, 
and he told me fifteen. Fifteen dollars for these. I was I jumped on it as fast as I could. I was I was gonna pay seventy five for these. I jumped on the fifteen, got them. The only problem is this yellowing fixed with some soul tox, whatever you want to use, sea glow. Nice shoe. And just saying with any LeBron A, com most comfortable shoe out there that Nike has. Now, next I have a really special pair of Air Max 90s. This is a special Euro release Air Max 90 for the company Career, which is a shoe company down in Europe. Now, being it's a Euro release, not as many were made just because not as many people rock kicks down in Europe or just in the part that I was in at least so I mean there was foams these sitting just on the shelves I mean fighter jet foams from a couple years ago still rocking the shelves I picked these up though because euro release I'm not gonna pass on that because these can go for top dollar shoes on point conference nice bottom got that waffle sole Nice shoe, Air Max unit, on point. Now, next I got my two pairs of beaters. You know, I got the uh, LeBron 7 Soldier. I mean, this shoe is just a LeBron 7 Soldier. It's a LeBron Soldier. The new versions aren't as nice as the old ones. And they're just kind of turning into those kind of shoes. So, I mean, this shoe, it's okay. I wear it most of the time just because it's... LeBron 7 Soldier. Next I got the uh, LeBron 6 Soldier. I, I mean, this one I like a little bit more. I mean, it's got that Dunk Man colorway, which is still a pretty sick colorway. I picked these up for like 10 bucks. I mean, I'm not going to pass on a pair of kicks for 10 bucks, but these, it's a nice pair every day. Next, I got the LeBron 11. Now, I, I picked these up and... I really liked them. I thought thought they were on point. Uh, I knew they were going to be comfortable. I knew they were going to look good with outfits. Once I got them, blew my expect expectations away. I mean, look at this shoe. The Gamma LeBron 11. I mean, I know there's all those other special LeBron 11s that came out. This best GR LeBron 11 that came out, in my opinion. You know, next I got that at Summer. Hot pool shoe, not shoe, but slot. So I got that LeBron V2 Air Max unit slot. This shoe, slide, it's nice. Now, next, I gotta say, it's it's a nice pair of shoes. So I'm currently in, I'm currently restoring, not restoring, custom, customizing this pair of Roshes. As you can see, I have this first print on that I put on the midsole. Now, I call this the player pack rush. You know, I've got I've got these shoe trees in there right now, but the player pack rush because it's got the KD sign, yin yang. I don't know why I put that on there. Air Jordan one sign, LeBron sign, more LeBron, and then it says witness on the inside. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, so I mean, gotta go with the LeBron. Now. I saw a couple pics on Instagram of a black cement 3 Rosh, and I put my mind out that, you know what, dude, that is sick. So I said, why don't I make mine the player pack black cement 3 Roshes? So, bam. I've got it. I made it. I mean, this midsole is the same as that one, just in blue, but this player pack Rosh is on point. Got that lacing looking like the black cement threes. Got all this white. I got the this, I mean this is sick. I'll do an on foot video of this sometime next week. But I'ma get I'ma get this one done. And I'ma rock these so much. Heads are gonna be turning all the time. All the time. And now next is my last last pair of considered kicks. I don't want to show some crappy, like, bands or something. I got 
LeBron 10 low championship pack. Yeah. I traded a lot of shoes for these and a lot of money. But I had to have them. Got that glow in the dark outsole. Got that nice airbag. Speckled pillars. I just love the print on these. Um, you know, I got. I love these shoes. It's a nice shoe. So, I mean, thanks for watching. And, um, all the Jordan, or the both pair of Jordan 4s are size 12. Um, the LeBron 8s are size 12, and everything else is size 11. So hit me up if you want to trade or buy some. If you got something to sell or something you want me to hook up, then contact me. Alright, see you next time.